Miles, are you wearing flip flops to work? I'm not going to work yet. Where are you going? I'm going to pick up strawberries. But we're supposed to go down to 29 degrees tonight. Know, Why would you get cold. strawberries? I, it is cold. So the reason that I have, I mean, I shouldn't have flip flops on. I don't know why I did that. But I was too lazy to find socks. But it's okay. We're just going to go get strawberries. And then we're going to go to work. But we have hundreds, maybe a thousand plants to bring in the house tonight. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. So we got back from picking up our strawberries and the breeze is already kicking up. Today's gonna be a fun day to mow. 50 mile an hour wind gusts or higher. So these are all the plants we have to bring into the house tonight. Um, I'm gonna start working on tomatoes and bring them in throughout the day here because these are not gonna like this really cold weather and winds. Good, Good morning. morning. Oh, we said it at the same time. Good morning, boss. How are you? Cold. But wow. not, not as cold as you guys up in Ohio. Oh, you snow. guys are cold. Oh my gosh, you're cold. Crazy, right? Yeah. Some people might be plowing today. Yeah. Late season, <laughs> freeze, frost for everybody, I guess. Now us, we have issues. We don't have to deal with snow or anything, but we have to bring in all the potted plants you guys see. There's over probably 500 of them. Yeah. Um, everything, all the way down to the peach trees that are in pots. So we're gonna be doing that throughout the day today and they're gonna stay in for the next couple of days because we are getting down to, I think I seen 31 and it's supposed to be a prolonged for five hours at 31 degrees. Yeah. So that will kill all our zinnias. It will kill a lot of our plants out there. And like we always say, why, why not take the time, bring them in, let them stay warm mm -hmm. so they don't have to be stunted. And then Friday into Saturday, we'll be putting stuff into the garden. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, not Saturday because we're supposed to get two inches of rain. Tons of rain on Saturday. So um, we also have clients that have smaller fruit trees also. We're not worried about any of the plantings that we just planted because if anything gets affected, we can always pop out like the perennials yeah. and replace them. Um, but the evergreens should be completely fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. I mean, even if they do get like frost burn or whatever it's only the outside they'll repair themselves with the two inches of rain that we're getting on saturday yeah and it's going to be 78 degrees next week what yeah. a big difference now these trees on the other hand are fruit trees that we um maintain here it's going to be yeah. whatever nature decides to keep because they're too big yeah they're way, way too, too big. big to be able to do anything unfortunately we haven't had rain either um, so that's not going to be good for the trees, but there's usually such an overload of fruit on here too, that she's like throwing it at us. Yeah. So, um, so we're not going to worry about that. It's yeah. just the other ones are smaller. We're going to cover them up and the clients don't want to. Yeah. And them. then all yeah. of our stuff we're bringing in, yes, like Carl that. said. So, so I'm going to try to record as much as I can today. It's so windy out that my phone, phone, my phone, my phone gets blown around. So I'll get what I can get. And I think yeah. we're going to... We have eight to mow and then we're going to try to get a load of mulch to go up north yeah to do more mulch on that project so thanks for following along okay let's get to work I don't mow the back first. so i have to prune this real quick so rachel can blow it over here and mulch it up into the lawn um and then she's going to go mow the back real quick but these are the first two so let me help her get this gate down Boss had to go get gloves. She was cold. Hey, it is cold out here, isn't it? So I'm done this. Um, when it fills in a little more, we'll shape it up a little better. Um, that will definitely fill in. This thing grows really big every year.
decided to show you how mine looked um even though the walk behind's broken for some reason when i go in reverse it won't nice yeah. for some reason when i go in reverse it won't go back in the drive i gotta hit the brake and push it back i'm hoping it's just really cold if not I oh know. i see that you didn't show them my weedies oh. well it's too late now they were diagonal well they're not that pretty <laughs> thanks that's not that pretty of a yard so Okay, off to the next one. We'll see if I can mow it with this walk behind. There you go. Front of this one done. It's nice out. This lawn's looking nice. I was able to mow it with the walk behind, even though it was still giving me a little bit of problems. Not as bad as the last one. Hopefully it just needs to warm up. And then Rachel did this side. So guys, I'm making some progress bringing these in as we come home. Um, they're definitely liking it better here in the warm. It's actually a wind chill of 38 out right now. Um, and the basil's coming back a little better. It's not looking the best still. I'm gonna cut them all down to here and then see what happens. If they don't grow back, whatever. It's just basil. And then here's some other stuff. So I'm gonna start bringing in some more stuff. This is baby's breath. And then these are, these are pretty. They're starting to get their flowers, I think. only two weeks of growth. There's Rachel. Mowing the lawn. Which way is she going to go, you guys think? You think she's going to come toward me? Oh yeah, she is. Look at that. I sharpen these blades. Now we gotta cover these apple trees up a little bit. Nice. So we got that one covered the best we can, that one covered the best we can, that one's covered really good, and then that one covered the best we can. Everything mowed, we're just gonna go and mow another one now. And this is the front yard. Done this one. Woo! Boss, these are horrible working conditions. I know, they are. One of these trees is gonna fall on my trailer. Really, man? Ugh. I don't know about that. If you were parked there at one time, it would have fell on your trailer. So what do you mean you don't know about that? Maybe, maybe you should move. <laughs> so here's the next one. As you can see, the weeds we sprayed Saturday are definitely dying, right? Yeah. And we're going to hope with the rain, the grass fills in. So let's I'm going to use a piece because I'm not bagging. all the way at the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Snow. I 
wonder if I can see it still for them. No, I missed it, I think. Hopefully Carl will be able to zoom in. That's crazy. It's cold, you guys. Pretty day, though. these plants so that at least it will help them um, weather this freeze. If you guys didn't know that, that that's a tip actually. You should water all your plantings to make sure that they have adequate water before a freeze because then you'll be less likely to lose them. Yes. And then you should also cover them um, if they're tender or bring them inside if you can. And that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. So, guys, it is 31 with the wind chill, and the boss has me out here. I might as well take this thing now, right? Yeah, she's going to water stuff while I'm cutting this thing here. So, we'll see how this goes. Right? than it's ever been. It's frozen. Well, it is 30 degrees with the wind chill now, boss. So we're done now. She watered that. Just put it the best you can. We're coming back when it's warm. Um, as you guys can see. So let me know. What do you guys think? Was that a good fix to that? Um, all I did was grind it, chip it away, and did the best that I could with it. Um, so it is what it is. And somebody asked why the space. The fence was here before we did the um, landscaping. And she didn't. She wants this to fill in. So eventually she's going to take the fence down. I think she should keep it. But that space maybe just fill it in with something. But that's why it's there. And somebody else had a good point. I don't see a mailbox anywhere. No, this is kind of like a... Yeah, it's got to be somewhere else unless she's going to put it afterwards. It's not going to be there. If anything, I guess she would put it down here. But we're not worried about that yet. So we're done here. It's cold. I need to get home because I'm freezing. And here's what it looks like this way. We're going to get two inches of rain. So this will wash off Saturday. Unless we're here tomorrow, we'll bring the blower and blow it off. But not bad. Not that bad for never cutting concrete before. That was a first. So I'm nice and warm in here. The boss is out there working. Sorry about the dirty windows. You missed some. We gotta mulch it again, man.
So guys, it went down to 28 degrees last night. We managed to bring all this in. We left some stuff out. We're gonna go check on the stuff we didn't cover, but I just didn't want any of this to die. So we brought everything in all the way down to our peaches. See all the peaches on there? Nice. And this will stay in for the next two days because we're going down to 33 tonight. Um, and then we'll start putting everything back out and we should be able to start planting in the ground. Um, hopefully next week or this weekend. Okay, I have to go and get ready to go do mulch.